परमण्यवाधिकारस्ते माफलेशु कदाचन माकर्म फल है तुर्भु माते संगोत स्वकर्म Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare It's a wonderful, wonderful joy to introduce a woman, a Shakti who needs no introduction. Our respected Tulsi Gabbard is a woman whose life has been firsts. She was the first woman of Samoan ancestry to be elected to the legislature. She was the first person at the age of 21, the tender age of 21, to be elected to serve. She is the first person to have taken the oath on the Bhagavad Gita. A dedicated war veteran, so a woman who understands the battle of Kurukshetra both outside as well as inside and a woman who has taken the lessons from the battlefield and incorporated them in her life of service, of karma yoga. Tulsi Ji is an inspiration to women, to men, to Indians, and to Americans. It's a wonderful, wonderful joy to turn the mic over to her and have her share with us Words of wisdom, inspiration, and shakti. Tulsi Ji. Namaste and aloha. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna. It's such a wonderful privilege to have this opportunity to be here today to join all of you, to join our respected guests as we celebrate the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita is treasured by millions of people around the world because it offers each of us wisdom, enlightenment, divine guidance, and a very clear description of our essence, function, and purpose in our lives. In just a few short months, we will begin the celebrations of the 50th anniversary of the arduous journey that Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada made from India to the United States, suffering two heart attacks along the way with just a few dollars in his pocket as he embarked on his mission to share Krishna with the world. I want to offer my deepest respects and gratitude to Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada because without him, I and so many others in the West would never have known about Krishna. Driven by his compassion for all of humanity and his love for Krishna, 
He translated a treasure trove of Vedic scriptures, including the Bhagavad Gita as it is, from which I have continuously drawn inspiration, strength, and peace throughout my life. Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada taught us all through his perfect example that the Bhagavad Gita is to be lived, not just read, not just spoken about, but actually lived. As each of you know, the Bhagavad Gita means Song of Bhagavan, or Song of God. And to truly live the Bhagavad Gita, to live the Song of God, we must first understand his song. The essence of the Song of God is spiritual love. Not just some vague concept of love, but specifically each of us as individuals loving God and dovetailing our will with his, using our lives in his service. Krishna makes very clear in his song that we are spirit in essence, eternal beings temporarily in these bodies. He teaches us that we are Atma, spirit soul, part and parcel of the Supreme. We are not our material body, we are not our mind. And while this material body will one day die, I, the spirit soul, am not subject to death. Because it, my essence is spirit, I am eternal. Krishna teaches us in the Bhagavad Gita, for the atma or soul, there is never birth nor death, nor does the soul ever cease to exist. The soul is unborn, eternal, ever-existing, undying, and primeval. The soul is not slain when the body is slain. Know that which pervades the entire body is indestructible. No one is able to destroy the imperishable soul. Krishna teaches us the essence of the Bhagavad Gita, that each of us is eternally connected to him by the bond of kinship. When we speak about Krishna, we're not speaking of a Hindu God, or a Christian God, or a Muslim God. We're not speaking about someone who's a stranger, someone with whom we have no relationship. Krishna is the origin of each and every one of us. He is the Supreme Father. He is our best friend. He is our source and our refuge. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, I am the seed-giving father of all living beings. Everything rests upon me as pearls are strung on a thread. In the Brahma Samhita, our eternal kinship with Krishna is described as follows. The Jiva Atma is eternal and is for eternity without a beginning, joined to the Supreme Lord by the tie of an eternal kinship. The soul is transcendental spiritual potency. Not only are we related to Krishna, but we belong to him. He tells us in the Bhagavad Gita, when you have thus learned the truth, you will know that all living beings are but a part of me, and that they are in me and are mine. I belong to Krishna. My longing for happiness, my longing for freedom from fear, my longing for spiritual food, my thirst for transcendental happiness can only be quenched by taking shelter in Krishna, by loving him. I, the spirit soul, must give Krishna my heart. I must embrace him with my love. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna gives one very easy and simple method that we can use to cultivate and express our love for him every single day. He says, if one offers me with love and devotion, a leaf, a flower, fruit, or water, I will accept it. So to live the Bhagavad Gita means to live our lives in the loving service of Krishna, our supreme friend. How should I live my life in a way that's pleasing to Krishna, that's pleasing to God? 
We know that we can cultivate our love for Krishna by chanting his holy names, immersing our minds and our hearts in his beautiful and transcendental pastimes. But how else can we live our lives in a way that will bring us closer to him? The answer is in dedicating our lives to working for the well-being of others. After all, how better to please God, who is the father and best friend of all living beings, than to care about and work for the well-being of his children. Therefore, the closer that I am to Krishna, the more that I care about his children. The closer that I am to Krishna, the more determined I am to use my life working in the welfare of others. In chapter 18, text 65 of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Always think of me. Become my devotee. Worship me and offer your homage unto me. Thus, you will come to me without fail. I promise you this because you are my very dear friend. So our daily lives can and should become a seamless combination of spending time alone with Krishna in meditation and using our lives working for the well-being of others. In other words, our loving relationship with God, our desire to be pleasing to our supreme best friend, will motivate us to use our talents, to use our abilities, our skills, our resources, our bodies, our minds, our intelligence, all working for the well-being of his children. This is truly a life of transcendental yoga. Love for God in action. This is a life which allows us to experience happiness now and fearlessness in the face of death. Krishna states in chapter 12, text 6 and 7, For one who worships me with love and devotion, giving up all his activities unto me, being devoted to me without deviation, engaged in devotional service and always meditating upon me, who has fixed his mind upon me, O son of Prita, for him I am the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death. This personal relationship with Krishna and this desire to be of service to others which springs from that relationship is the foundation for my existence. Whether things in my life are going well or whether I'm facing great challenges, no matter where I am in the world, I take refuge in Krishna simply by repeating and meditating upon his holy names, his transcendental form, his pastimes, and his instructions to us in the Bhagavad Gita. I take refuge in the heart of Krishna, in the embrace of Krishna, in the names of Krishna. When I was serving in the military deployed to Iraq, I worked in a medical unit where on a daily basis, I witnessed firsthand the harsh cost of war. As I went around our camp, I saw a big sign next to one of the main gates that we passed by that read in big letters, is today the day. That sign was a constant reminder to me and to all of us who were there that today could be the day that I leave this world. I remember at different times thinking, today could have been my day. I have so little time and I need to make the most of the time that I have. Constantly I found refuge in the Bhagavad Gita, which allowed me to remember and contemplate upon the truth of my eternal identity and to hold Lord Krishna close to my heart and to truly take shelter in him. I remember going to sleep at night in a tent and being woken up oftentimes by the sound of explosions or bomb sirens going off. But I wasn't afraid because I was able to experience this inner peace and spiritual strength that comes from Krishna, where I wasn't worried about what would happen to me. 
So while each of us here, our lives may be very different, our challenges may be different and unique, every single one of us has a personal relationship with Krishna. It's up to each and every one of us how intimate and how real we want that relationship to be. Each and every one of us can give our heart to Krishna. And once we do that, then no matter what our situation in life, no matter how fearful, no matter how dangerous, no matter how challenging, we can always take refuge in that eternal relationship. We can find peace and happiness in that loving relationship with Krishna. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita in chapter 18, text 66, Abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender unto me. I shall deliver you from all sinful reaction. Do not fear. Krishna is my life and soul. But there's nothing that's special about me. Krishna is your life and soul too. Whether you know it or not. Every single one of us is part and parcel of Krishna. He is our best friend. He is our shelter. He is our strength. He is our happiness. He is in our heart right now, calling to us, welcoming us to embrace him with our love. When Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita over 5,000 years ago, he wasn't just speaking to Arjuna. He delivered this timeless message through the song of Bhagavan to each and every one of us. It's the song of Krishna beckoning us, calling to us, saying, come, I'm waiting for you. You are my eternal child and friend. Take refuge in me. I will take care of you. Just love me. Give your heart to me. Surrender to me. I welcome you into my embrace. I will give you all protection. Just love me. Krishna is waiting for each of us to say, Krishna, my life is yours, so that we may truly and finally achieve peace and true happiness. All glories to the Bhagavad Gita. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna. Thank you so much, Tulsi Ji, for such a beautiful, beautiful talk. She's an example of what happens when our religion infuses not only our life on Friday evenings or Sunday mornings, not only our life when we are in the mandir or the church or the mosque or the gudwara or the synagogue, but what happens when our religion, our spirituality, infuses every minute and every moment of our lives. Is today the day? What a beautiful message. Yes, of course, in the way it's intended on a battlefield, is today the day I will leave my body. But there's also another meaning. Is today the day that I wake up? As Puja Swamiji always says, whenever you wake up, it's morning. So let us take this message and use it in our lives today. And answer that question, is today the day, with yes. Today is the day I'm going to wake up. Today is the day I'm going to open my eyes and see that light that is shining. That I'm going to see Krishna, feel Krishna, hear Krishna in every minute, in every moment of my life. कर्मण्यवाधिकारस्ते माँ भले शोक दाचना माँ कर्म फल है तुरभु माते संगोच्व कर्मण हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Krishna Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hare